Entebbe is Uganda's main gateway to the international community. The town is, however, facing the adverse effects of continued use of polythene bags or cavera. The campaign towards ending the use of polythene bags has to involve both the rural and urban communities that use the plastics if it is to succeed. This position is held by Kayondo Maiko, the chairman, Chirimanyaga Cell Village. Kayondo is concerned many Ugandans are oblivious to the dangers posed by Kavera to their lives and the environment. We get diseases out of the what? The, the, this garbage. Uh, as people use pampas and some other related items. If the, 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 the community is uh, dirty, uh, we come across so many diseases. To Eric Masereka, the chief executive officer, Let's Do It UG, it is the cardinal role for youth to serve as examples in fighting the continued use of Kavera. The youths of Uganda, we are responsible for our country. We are not supposed to look up to anyone to come and help us. We are supposed to take charge. And we have shown this today uh, during these activities. And uh, I encourage other youths out there to join us and uh, we work on, on this issue. I want to call upon other people who are interested and who love this country to join us so that we can come up with long-term solutions to the waste problem. Mutesi Josephine Miss Earth Uganda says that the campaign against plastics and cavera should incorporate grassroots, especially primary schools. We are commemorating this day in Zana and we are cleaning up this area. Let today be the epitome of cleanliness in Uganda and carry it on to the next days. Sensitization of masses is one of the measures organizations and corporate companies have devised to fight Kavera and its effects on the economy. NBS Television, Vivo Energy Uganda and the National Environment Management Authority NEMA are also running the Tuvek Kavera campaign aimed at sensitizing masses on the dangers of Kavera. Aisha Nasanga, Eric Wakabi, NBS, Live at 9.